Egypt's first democratically elected president, Mohamed Morsi, died while on trial, six years after he was in prison. Here are four things to know about him. Mohamed Morsi was Egypt's fifth president and the country's first democratically elected leader. He was ousted by current president Abdel Fattah al-Sisi in the 2013 military coup after serving one year. Protests against the move led to the Rabah massacre, in which more than 1,000 protesters were killed by Egyptian security forces. Morsi's political career started in 2000. He served in the parliament from 2000 to 2005 as an independent after his party, the Muslim Brotherhood, was barred from running for office during the Hosni Mubarak era. Morsi was one of the few outspoken politicians who challenged the regime and was imprisoned several times as a result, most notably on January 28, 2011, when he was detained along with 24 other Muslim Brotherhood leaders for their participation in the January 25th revolution. Morsi's foreign policy upset the status quo. He was a staunch supporter of the Syrian opposition and a strong critic of the Bashar al-Assad regime. He was a close ally of Qatar and strengthened relations with Iran. More importantly, he strongly opposed Israel's occupation of Palestine and had a close relationship with Hamas. This helped ease the blockade of the Gaza Strip during his short tenure. Morsi also challenged Israel's role in the region and promised to revisit the Camp David Accords, which installed peace between Israel and Egypt. Morsi was kept in Egypt's notorious Scorpion prison. According to Human Rights Watch, he was kept in isolation and denied family and lawyer visits as well as medical treatment. He was sentenced to death in 2015, but the decision was overturned soon after. Despite the outcry of human rights organizations over his treatment and the charges he was facing, most of the world powers embraced former military leader Sisi as Egypt's new leader. Will Morsi's death turn the tide in Egypt's dying democracy?